Neko work is. Alright, so today I'm going to be playing Necropara Volume 1, I've heard really good things about this game, a lot of people seem to like it, so yeah, I'll decide from this if I want the second one, Let, which is Volume 0, so let's, uh, let's just start the game. Clouds. It's a visual novel now, it has clouds. A mover. Sounds like he he's a movie a thing when you move the trucks. Okay, so our our name is Kasho. Kasho. Phew, <laughs> this should be most of the boxes. Then. I wipe the sweat from my forehead with my arm as the moving truck disappeared from view. Although it was early April and only beginning of the spring. Today's weather was quite nice. It was even a bit hot. Well, it's a good day for a new start. I turned my head to look back at the empty bakery, which had been even have a single, have any signage yet. The brand new interior wall had a western look with a predominantly white and brown motif. I, I don't know how to, I don't know what that word is. <laughs> there was also a large window which lets lots of sunlight in. And finally there were words that displayed the name of the bakery. La Soli? I, I guess, I don't know. It sounds French, which according to this it is French, so instead of the proper French article Le, it was La Soli, meaning the sun. This was a nod towards the name of the shop of someone I admired. Now that I'm on my own, I have, I'll have to do my best. I softly murmured to myself. From here on out, no one would tell me what to do. I was going to start completely anew despite the structure of my family's name and everything that had happened up until now. I alone would decide my path and take responsibility for what I want to do. In exchange for that freedom, I can't blame anyone else for what happens. Still, although I was a bit worried, the thought of what lay ahead made me break into a smile. So we're gonna open a bakery and somehow this leads the cats? Okay. In any case, I better get all these things cleaned up. I took a deep breath and got my spirits back up. I stepped into the new smelling bakery. How does this lead the Neckos? I guess I'll find out. Huh. What's with this big box? Yeah, I can see I ain't watched Noble Senpai play this because I wanted to get it for myself and play it. So, I haven't watched uh, Lost Paws play it. Hmm, what's with this big box? Uh, there's two big boxes. One, two. In front of me was a large box I didn't recognize. In fact, there were two of them. Fragile, delicate. Absolutely, this side up. If thrown, your company will be in trouble. The warnings were going overboard. They were getting annoying. And if these are baking supplies, I don't remember buying anything quite like this. First off, there were boxes that looked like they came from my house. If they were for the bakery, there's no way I wouldn't remember buying them. So they came from his house. There were no tags from the moving company either. There was just those warning labels. Well, I'll know for sure once I open the... They moved. Are the cat girls inside the box? Yeah, cause the box just went at you. Okay. 
Huh? The box just mailed. Yeah, they're in the box. Oh, it's just a cat, huh? Just a troublesome cat, jeez. Thank goodness. Looks like that fooled him. That was close, Chaka. Better be careful. Yeah. Like, that would fool me. What are you doing, Chocola? <laughs> Long time no see, right, Master? So this is after Volume Zero, but Volume Zero came out second. Okay. We just saw each other at home yesterday, you know. Well, uh, that's true. Chocula guesses. <laughs> More importantly than that, listen up. These movers were really mean. Hold up one sec, guys. I gotta be like, I'm filming. For YouTube. Will. When I finish. Ah, uh, he'll get that. Well, he slash she will get the idea. Uh, uh. So they were picking up Chokla, right? And they said, this box is heavy, so be careful with it. Chokla wanted to hiss at them all of a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then, Chocula really did. Chocula did her best to control her temple, but Chocula was fuming, you know, absolutely fuming. Well, compared to the rest of my things, you are happy. <laughs> she ignored what I said. Chocula puffed her cheeks. You could say that she was always happy-go-lucky. Or rather, she preoccupied herself with only what was in front of her. I heard something about the P button. I guess this is a CG or something because it's not doing anything. Well, I guess that was how you describe Chocula. Well, I was getting ready to move. I did wonder why you I didn't see you. And there's the other one. Because I know there's two of them based on what Noble says. Oh, my stomach. I'm hungry. Vanilla. Okay. So that's the one that Noble likes. Because I've seen her before. Long time no see, Master. My nose was itchy because it was inside of the moving... Inside of the moving truck was dusty. Why is Vanilla here, too? Whoever Chocula is, I am too. Besides, cat girls don't dislike tight spaces. Also, they said this box is heavy, so be careful with it in regards to me too. So I was also mad. Just steaming. <laughs> Again, huh? In any case, Chocula, Vanilla, get out of there. I was at my end's wits end with large boxes that just suddenly showed up. Anyway, Chuck and Vanilla, get out of those boxes. Why is no one picking up the phone? Let me save real quick. Okay. Okay. Just what is Shigure doing? I hung up everything to call my little sister. There's no way that Choka and Vanilla could have gotten mixed in with the rest of those boxes in the first place. On the outside, cat girls look almost like humans. They can understand words and can talk just like us. 
but one of the humans cat girls were closer to normal cats after all cat girls had ears and tails just like cats do they were genetically modified humanoid cats that were commonly referred to as cat girls these days cat girls fit into society as pets and families or partners to humans my little sister really loves to dote on cat girls so they genetically created them that's kind of creepy so our family has six including chocola and vanilla in any case they couldn't have meld themselves all on their own Melling living things through the post would have been impossible for one thing. There's no way my parents would have helped with this either. Thus, I could only guess that somehow Sejure, Segure, Segure, Shigure, Shigure. <laughs> Not English, Japanese. Shigure, Stulin. I see, so Shigure was an accomplice then. Meow, this is a really pretty home. So, is this the P button? Oh, the P button! Yeah, it does. It makes them bounce. And their boobs move. Ha <laughs> that's funny. No wonder Noble talks about that infamous P button. Oh, that, that's funny. Hold on. I think I saw... Yeah, just building this. Do it all the way up, baby. Boing, boing. Oh, that's funny. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> okay, but, uh, this is really cool. Choco really likes the smell of new bedding and furniture. It's bigger than it looks. Perfect for Master's abilities. Vanilla, over here, let's take a look at that room. Time to explore. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> it's so funny. Well, where it is, I suspect that it's a bedroom. Master's new bed must be there. Meow, yeah, we can't miss that. Let's go snuggle in it. Snuggle time. Snuggling and knowledge. That's fine by me. Oh jeez. But I decided, let's go. Don't get out of control and hurt yourself. Okay, okay. Without any intentions, the two gag rolls were off and running. Well, the bakery did have living quarters on the second floor. So I wasn't worried about them causing a ruckus around here. Of course, they aren't young cat girls anymore either. So, I shouldn't have to worry about them getting out of control too much. Well, besides that, I looked up my address in my phone's address book. Mina Duki Residence. Mina Duki Residence. Well, I already left Shigure a message so she could call me back later. Without. <coughs> Pressing the call button, I put my cell phone back in my pocket. I had moved out without saying anything. So for her to call me back within the day seemed a bit stupid. Well, it wasn't really an issue I needed to bring up right this moment. I should hear from Shigure soon, anyhow. Shigure. It's a weird for me to say. We finished snuggling on Master's bed. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> so funny. The new bed is very fluffy. It gets a passing score. I kind of like vanilla too. I kind of grew a noble. I kind of like vanilla so far. She's pretty cute too, but uh, vanilla's prettier. Good work, you two. Gosh, both of you have... Major bedhead, sheesh. Chocolate loves a 
Master rubs her head. It feels so good. I have no objections to this. More! I tidied up their hair with a comb. Their soft hair felt nice as always. I lightly bonked them both on the head while they had their eyes closed. Now then, why were the two of you hiding among my moving boxes? You said you wouldn't bring us with you, so we had no choice. Chocula said she was going, so I tagged along. Aww. You had no choice. Just tagged along. You two! Well, I figured that had to be the reason, but... And I recomposed myself and looked at the two of them again. Listen up, okay? How many times have I told you this isn't a vacation or a picnic? I moved out because I have no intention of going back there. If you were at home, you wouldn't have anything to worry about. Shigule and the other cat girls are there too. Ah, oh, my body's getting low. My head's that crap. It would be better if you two just... They're hungry. <laughs> That's not it. It's just, uh... <laughs> Chocula's stomach is being rebellious, so that's not it, really. She's not. Master moved out really early in the morning, so there was no time to eat breakfast. The sound of Chocula's stomach rumbling is cute anyways. While listening to the silly excuses, I glanced at the clock and saw it was already past 1 o'clock. And I thought about it. I haven't eaten anything since this morning either. Well... Why don't we have lunch first, then? <laughs> Yay, food! Chocula loves master. I'm gonna have to end this short, cause my headset's dying. <laughs> Understanding as ever, master. We're in your debt. These two are as easy going as always. Nekopara! <laughs> She ain't fired up, you yeah. know. That was weird. <laughs> Never seen that in a visual novel before, but I ain't played many, so. Oh, time passed. Okay. Well, I'm gonna save right here. And unfortunately end it because... Um, my headphones are dying. So, uh, yeah, we'll get started on that. And once my headphone gets charged, I'll, uh, I'll make another video. So, uh... Catch you guys in the next one. Uh, I don't even remember how to quit. I think you have to go. Yes. Okay. Alright. See you guys in the next one.